I will go back to the, the container OS uh, part once more because I talked to uh, uh, CentOS folks and uh, Fedora mm -hmm. folks also. And since Fedora and CentOS is kind of upstream to RHEL. Right. So what, what, uh, so what is, who is going to be upstream for uh, Red Hat Core OS? Um, so the, the original uh, container Linux, right, before we made any integration, that community, that code base will still uh, remain open source. There are still non-core OS maintainers that we're working on that. So um, we don't want to disrupt that community. We'll still see core OS engineers, uh, you know, keeping that going because there will be innovation that continues to happen mm -hmm. around immutable, right? We'll take those, you know, we'll work in that community. We'll take those learnings. We'll put those into Red Hat core OS. Um, the, the Red Hat core OS, since it'll now be based off the Fedora kernel, um, we'll see, you know, work, you know, kind of core OS work going on in that community as well, and bringing those learnings overall to the Fedora community, right? So, you know, over time, you know, we, we always talk about the, the importance of the operating system, but there, as we get into more fast moving environments, like, you know, people want better ways to operate them. You know, they want to deal with them as mutable, they want to deal with updates and so forth. So um, I think we're going to see a lot of cross learning between these couple of communities. Um, just there's learning in the immutable community that, it's going to get exposed to the, the Fedora community that we think is going to be really good. We're you know sort of new ideas, refreshing of ideas. But this doesn't look very structured the way Red Hat has things such as like you know CentOS is there, Fedora is there. Mm -hmm. So, well, there's a very structured way between you know Fedora is sort of the the. I mean, the Fedora is point. Red Hat's sponsors community is full, right. you know, fully community driven, but it's like, sponsored and funded by Red Hat. Right. So what will happen to the core OS, uh, the container Linux community? Because um, right that, now you're saying a lot of non-core developers are there. Yeah. So who I mean, will we'll, be we'll still, we'll still support that community and, and endorse that, just like we have Fedora. Um, you know, if it continues to grow, that's great, and and we will continue to to support and endorse the Fedora one as well. So, you know, for us. This is an opportunity. I mean, we, there's a realization that managing Linux host is evolving. Um, the entire market's not going to go in one direction or the other. Mm -hmm. There's lots of things. So we want to make sure that fundamentally we know how to work in, in open source communities. We have oh, no gosh. plans to yeah. change that. Mm -hmm. um, we, we still believe that the operating system is very important. It's evolving and changing. So we want to make sure we're actively involved with that. Um, and we've learned through a number of acquisitions and some good and some bad, like, you, you don't want to do harm to an existing community. Right. And, and so, you know, same way that um, we're not going to leave any existing okay, tectonic, okay. yeah, we're not going to leave, we're not leaving any existing tectonic customer behind, right? right. We're not going to leave a community behind either. 